Not too long ago, AI was just a buzzword. From topics about AI models that can do everything from generating images to having meaningful conversations. Fast forward to today and Meta has just released Llama 3.1, the biggest and best open source AI model yet. This isn't just another AI model, it's a game changer. Llama 3.1 outperforms some of the biggest names in AI, including OpenAI's GPT-40, and is set to revolutionize how we interact with technology. Stick around as we dive deep into what makes Llama 3.1 so special and why you should be excited about this breakthrough. But before we get started, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on post notifications so you never miss an update on the latest in AI technology. Meta has just dropped their latest and greatest open source AI model, Llama 3.1, and it's making waves. Mark Zuckerberg himself expects this to surpass ChatGPT in usage very soon. Llama 3.1 is Meta's newest and most advanced AI model, boasting a staggering 405 billion parameters. To put that into perspective, it's significantly more complex and capable than its predecessors and many of its current competitors. This model is designed to push the boundaries of what AI can do, offering capabilities that were previously thought to be the domain of science fiction. Back in April, Meta teased us with something huge, an open-source AI model that could compete with the best private models out there, like OpenAI's. Well, the wait is over, and today we get to meet Llama 3.1, the largest ever open-source AI model. Meta claims it's outperforming some big names like GPT-4 and Claude 3.5 on several benchmarks. Plus, Meta's AI assistant, powered by Llama 3.1, is now available in more countries and languages, and it can even generate images based on someone's likeness. Talk about next-level tech. Now, Llama 3.1 isn't just a slight upgrade. This version is massive, boasting 405 billion parameters and trained using over 16,000 of NVIDIA's high-end H100 GPUs. This extensive training allows Llama 3.1 to perform at a high level across various benchmarks outpacing even some of the most renowned proprietary models in the industry. The cost to develop it? Meta isn't spilling the beans, but considering the price of those GPUs, we're talking hundreds of millions of dollars. So why is Meta giving it away? Zuckerberg explains that open source AI models are the future, just like how Linux revolutionized the tech world by becoming the go-to operating system. He believes that Llama 3.1 is a game changer, predicting it will lead most developers to choose open source. Meta is teaming up with big names like Microsoft, Amazon, Google, Nvidia, and Databricks to help roll out Llama 3.1. It's also cost-effective, with Meta claiming it costs about half as much as running OpenAI's GPT-4. They're releasing the model weights so companies can train it on their own data and tweak it to fit their needs. For instance, Microsoft's involvement means that Llama 3.1 can be integrated with Azure, providing developers with scalable cloud infrastructure to support their AI applications. Similarly, collaborations with Amazon and Google ensure that Llama 3.1 can be utilized across different cloud platforms, making it accessible to a wide range of users. Of course, Meta isn't sharing much about the training data for Llama 3.1. They used synthetic data to boost the model, a method becoming quite popular. Unlike traditional training data, which is generated by humans, synthetic data is created by AI models. This approach has several advantages, including the ability to generate large amounts of diverse and high-quality data without the constraints of human data collection. Ahmad al Dawal, Meta's VP of Generative AI, sees Llama 3.1 as a valuable tool for developers, especially as a teacher for smaller models. Interestingly, Meta has also ramped up its testing for Llama 3.1, including potential cybersecurity and biochemical uses. The model has undergone extensive adversarial testing, also known as red teaming, to identify potential vulnerabilities and misuse scenarios. They're seeing some agentic behaviors, meaning the model can perform tasks like retrieving information from the internet and generating code. Meta's AI assistant, powered by Llama, is integrated into Instagram, Facebook, and WhatsApp. It's rolling out first in the US through WhatsApp and the Meta AI website, with more languages coming soon. With the capabilities of Llama 3.1, Meta's AI assistant can provide more accurate and engaging interactions, enhancing user experience across these platforms. However, the advanced 405 billion parameter model will switch to a smaller 70 billion version after a certain number of prompts to keep costs down. 
There's also a cool new feature called Imagine Me, which uses your phone's camera to create images with your likeness. This approach aims to avoid the creation of deep fakes and protect user privacy. And for Quest headset users, Meta AI is set to replace the voice command interface, making it even more interactive. While Zuckerberg predicts that Meta AI will become the most used chatbot by the end of this year, surpassing ChatGPT's 100 million users, Meta hasn't shared any specific usage numbers yet. According to Al Dahl, the industry is still early in finding its path towards product market fit. Despite the hype, it's clear that the AI race is just heating up and Meta is definitely in it to win it. As we've seen, the release of Llama 3.1 is a monumental step forward in the world of artificial intelligence. From its advanced capabilities and cost efficiency to its open source nature and potential impact on the industry, Llama 3.1 represents a new era of AI innovation. This is just the beginning. Remember to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications to stay updated on the latest in AI technology. Let us know what you think about this exciting development in the comments below. This is AI Nexus. Catch you in the next video.